Good morning folks, hope everyone's doing alright. Uh, we are just looking to open on European cash rate this Tuesday uh, where we saw US equities gap down at the start of a back trade. Con as concerns surrounding US China spat over time one dimming prospect of a positive outcome on tariff changes. Uh, to put this matter into context we have seen this. Right, there's a chart plotting the NASDAQ 100 index against the SP500 ratio chart data that goes all the way back to 2005 here. Right? So this is a lot of historical data. Every time we've tested the support trend line, we've bounced back. And this, you know, obviously this concerns tech. And watching this go down like that, explaining also today, if you were trading the Australian markets, we had a tech route that brought the ASX 200 down. Um, despite a two session rally pretty much. Um, markets work to price in needs to be pressed in the guards communication for an end of the negative rates basically century <laughs> in the eurozone like which brought the euro trading firmly above May's range if we see over here uh, live data over here we're seeing just positive trading uh, 0.0727s firmly above the May range. Reports indicate peace stocks are on the right path it, on the Ukrainian Russian conflict front. However, the two presidents, it's a stickier situation when it comes to the two presidents actually have a sit down to discuss an, an end to the war. So, further military support will be sent by these countries. <sighs> This is the fun part here. We saw some pressure going into uh, the crude space earlier today, uh, despite the EU, EU agreeing on a Russian oil embargo, which would come within days, according to them. And also to add fuel to the fire, which is supposed to be bullish for crude, you know, China reports its worst case rise since the recent outbreak. So basically put into the back burner any hopes for a lift on its strict lockdown measures. Uh, but why is crude going through this pressure? I mean, technically speaking, we can bring that up. But what's important here is the fact that instead of not buying Russian crude, what they're doing is just capping the upper limit on prices, as in, okay, we're only going to pay at this price. We don't know what that price is yet, right? The market is trying to figure that out. Okay. If there was a cap on prices, where could it be? Uh, so expect to hear, you know, source comments or whatnot over here. So keep keep an ear to the ground to see where where this upper limit on prices is. Also, again, very timid stuff. But by the end of the day, it's more okay. We're not going to purposely target the the energy market per the wall. It just looks like okay, inflation. We need to fight inflation, which, you know, crude, high, high crude prices have been really affecting. Further in China, and, you know, speaking of outbreaks and COVID measures, UBS and Jay Morgan just cut the China, China 2022 growth forecast due to the very same policy that is being uh, just hanging in the balance right now. And Goldman Sachs taken a bear case against China's real estate market. And this is a big deal. Because, well, this, they cite more defaults within the space, and this is a big deal because we saw the contagion effect that it had over not just the China China economy, but globally, right? China is a monster player, and we saw how crude rallied uh, on prospects that they could potentially lift the lockdowns, but like I said, hanging in the balance. So for the European morning session, we'll be on the lookout for flash PMI readings out of France, Germany, Eurozone, and then followed by the UK before we get into the US session. About 45, sorry, no, this is 15 minutes past the US cash open at 2.45 London time. Same thing, flash PMI. So that's it for me today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment. Uh, be happy to answer any questions uh, if you want to join us on the discord room do sign up for the pro 
the trader package use code pro trial 50 to enjoy 50 percent off your first month where our you know head of trading tim duggan is live mondays to fridays during the european session i hope this was useful uh have a great trading session ahead and stay safe out there you know don't don't get no monkey pox now <laughs>